If you like this video, why not subscribe? Hey everybody, uh, a few people have asked me what screen capture software that I use for some of my videos, such as my Sony Vegas videos, and when I'm surfing the web and I'm using that. Uh, I use screen capture software, and the software that I'm using is the free Cam Studio software. It's uh, open source. I'll give you a link below where you can get it. It's camstudio.org if you want to go there fast. Uh, and screen capture is uh, very important for this type of video. It's great. Uh, you can see I'm actually using two versions here. This is the new version, which you can download uh, from the website. And this is the old version right here that I'm using to actually record the screen so I can show the new version. Since they're both different versions, I can run them simultaneously. And they think they're two different programs. So I'm using screen capture software here to talk about this screen capture software here. Uh, I'm going to go through the basic settings uh, right here it's just to show you what my setup is. The first thing I do is I set up the region. And I've got it set for full screen. That just means it records the entire screen. And I'll show you why that's important later. Uh, next up on options, we have our video options. And these are essentially the defaults, which I, I see no need to change because I think they work fairly well. Uh, the codec I'm using is Microsoft Video One. That's a codec that's on every PC. So it'll drop into pretty much every editor because it's super common. Uh, the frame rate right here is capture frames every five milliseconds and your playback rate is 200. This is the default. I think this works just fine. If you want to change it or adjust it and see what, try different frame rates and see what works, you can just use this slider down here and notice the frame rates will change. Um, but I see no, no need to really change them. I think it works just fine the way it is. Uh, another option is your audio selection here which is uh, whether or not to record audio from your uh, computer's microphone. I have a laptop. There's a webcam and a microphone on the laptop. It records terrible sound. However, it makes for a great scratch track when I want to sync later. So I do have this selected so I can record audio from the microphone. So I can take the file generated by Cam Studio and drop it into my editor and see the waveform of the crummy mic audio and then easily line up my good mic audio uh, with it. I double system sound I'm recording into my Zoom and I drop them both in and I can see how to line them up so the audio syncs up perfectly. Another setting uh, that you might want to fiddle with, with I've changed is uh, play AVI when recording stops. Uh, I have do not play AVI file only because I just want to, it's just an extra thing that pops up that I end up having to close, which is just a, an AVI player and I have it set so it doesn't pop up so it goes right to the save screen so I can just save my file. So that's how I, might, I have it set up. It's super basic, super simple. When you're ready to go, you just hit the red record button right here and you get some information about uh, your playback and your recording. And you can just go ahead and, and uh, do whatever you want. When you're done on screen, just hit the stop button. A uh, dialog box will pop up and ask you where you want to save your AVI file. And you type in the name and save it just like you would for anything else. Uh, now, an, an important thing to uh, know about these files is when you drop them into uh, Vegas right here. The reason that I had you record full screen, or the reason that I record full screen, so I pull this file down, put it in my editor. This is just a sample file when I made of uh, showing how to use a Save As feature in Sony Vegas. So when you play it, we just have the pointer going to uh, the, the File button, and then to Save As and then a dialog box will pop up in the middle of the screen. Now in the, in the video, let's say I want to do a close-up of this, which would draw attention to some details in the Save As box. So I'm going to split the video right here with S. Again, this is Sony Vegas. Whatever your editor uses, you'll know what that is. And then I'm going to use the Pan and Crop tool, and I'm going to zoom in on the dialog box because I want to show off the features in that box. A close up, just like you would in any video, I'm going to draw attention to it. So that's it. So now when I go back and play, as soon as the box pops up, um, it cuts to a close up. And I basically edit all my uh, screen capture videos that way. So that I can do any kind of editing, cut, zoom in really tightly if I want. I mean, the detail holds pretty well. I can go in and it's still completely legible. I want to show specific things. So that's, that's why I record full screen. Now something else uh, you want to do is if you uh, mix your screen capture video with other video like that you've shot with your camera or whatever that's going to be at uh, you know 30 frames per second, 24 frames per second, 60 interlaced frames, whatever. Notice how the project video here is this is 200 frames per second progressive and so obviously that's not going to match whatever you have uh, with whatever footage you're mixing it with if you're mixing it so I highly recommend that to get this to look right 
you go into your properties of your video clip here and you'll disable your resample. This is how you do it in Vegas. I'm not sure how you do it in other programs, but you want to disable the resampling. So that way, when you run all the footage together, it'll look normal based on the project settings. Because if you, got, if you have it set for 24p or 30p, and you try using this 200p footage uh, that you've recorded from your screen capture, it's not going to work. So that's all you have to do to uh, get rid of that problem is to disable uh, the resampling. So that's it. That's uh, Cam Studio. This is version 2.7 over here. You can get it free on the web. I'll leave you a link below. And uh, thanks for watching.